through the recreational therapy department, we've watched kids find out the great worth that they have inside, find out who they are, and accomplish these amazing feats that they never thought possible. Riding 100 miles on a bicycle, learning to water ski and wakeboard, learning to rock climb and climbing these amazing climbs out and doing 100 foot rappels. And to watch them light up and have these experiences is absolutely amazing. Within our milieu, we get to have those experiences as staff. And I've personally had several of those moments where you're talking to a child that just wants you to prove that they're worthless. They're pushing their, your buttons. They're doing everything they know to make you upset. And you draw them in, you give them a hug, and you tell them, look, I don't care what you do, I'm gonna take care of you. And they break down and they realize that no matter what, you're gonna take care of them, so it's not worth fighting anymore. I've watched staff take them in and really work through their issues and prove to them that regardless of what they think about themselves, regardless of how people have treated them in the past, there is inherent worth inside of them. We see it, we believe it, and they can't prove us wrong. And as that's happened, these kids have completely blossomed. They've allowed us to believe in them and they've leaned on our beliefs until they could believe in themselves. And as they believe in themselves, they start to prove that they are lovable, they do have great worth, that they can accomplish these things. And we've seen tremendous success, we've seen tremendous miracles take place as kids have overcome some of those issues that brought them here in the first place. It's interesting, a lot of the kids that we work with here at Kalo uh, have kind of a skewed perception of what success is. So often in life, success is determined by comparison. And kids go to school and they compare themselves to the other kids who might be prettier or skinnier or smarter or get better grades. And uh, no matter who you compare yourself to, there's always gonna be somebody better. And sometimes our students will take that and it'll reinforce their negative beliefs about themselves so that they can say, look, I'm a failure and I can prove it. And so one of the first things that we attempt to do within the recreational therapy department here at Kalo is redefine success. Success is measured by self-improvement, not a comparison to others. Here at Kalo, our goal with recreational therapy is to actually address some of those issues and connect with some of the issues of our students. Uh, for example, there's been several moments while we're teaching kids to rock climb on our climbing wall. Uh, we're trying to push them and squeeze them and encourage them to kind of break their own limits. And uh, during that process, they may get frustrated. And I've had students before yell at me and say, hey, stop it, you're just like my dad. Nothing's ever good enough for you. And uh, in that process, it gives us an opportunity to sit down and talk and say, hey, you know, you said that I reminded you of somebody. Let's talk a little bit about that. Tell me about you and your dad. Uh, I was once on a phone call with a student that I'd had this experience with and uh, we got to talk to his dad and he got to share some of those feelings that he had and rather than just approach him in this bold frontal assault and say let's talk about your relationship with your dad we could kind of talk about the experience uh, we kind of talk about what it was like to be on the climbing wall having someone push you not being satisfied with what he considered his best effort and it really stirred up some of those feelings and some of those emotions that he was having and that's really the goal of the recreational therapy department. Uh, I like the analogy that I use quite regularly with parents is I'll ask them, well, what do you get when you squeeze an orange? Orange juice, of course, that's what's inside. When we squeeze our kids, when we squeeze our students, we get whatever's inside. Sometimes we get this anger and this hatred and this frustration when the kids get really upset. Sometimes we get self-hate and disappointment and kind of seclusion and a real quiet self-hatred. And it gives us an opportunity to really look at those pieces experientially. So what's real powerful about recreational therapy is it's not about accomplishing tasks. It's not about, you know, doing events. It really is about squeezing individuals and finding what's inside. And as you learn what's inside, then you know how to take care of them, you know how to help them, you know how to work through some of those pieces. And uh, that's where it fits into our Kalo model as well. Our Kalo model is all about relationships. It's all about understanding how people interact. So rather than just talk about what good communication is, 
we actually take an experiential approach where we'll put two kids into a canoe who may not communicate well together. And they may be able to talk all day long about what good communication looks like. They can sit down and explain good, positive, assertive communication is this, and it's this, and it's this. But it's in the experience that we get to know ourselves. It's in the experience that we get to know each other. So as two boys sit down in a canoe, and rather than talk about communication, they have an actual opportunity to communicate. You can see some of their frustrations. You can see how they interact with others. You actually get an opportunity to witness the experience that they share as they're trying to communicate. And uh, the favorite question that I have as a recreational therapist, and all the kids roll their eyes at me when I, when I say it, but we sit down and we talk and we say, well, how's this like your life? How's this like the relationship you share with your parents? When have you felt these kinds of feelings before? And it gives us an opportunity to really not just talk about therapy, not just talk about their issues, but experience them, to delve into them, to understand them a little bit better on a real personal and intimate level.